Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what's on my iPhone video. I haven't done one of these in forever and with the new iOS 14 coming out, I thought it was a perfect time to show you guys what's on my phone. Before we get into what's on my iPhone, question of the day, what is your favorite social media app? I think mine would obviously be YouTube, but Instagram comes in second. That was the app that really got me into loving it to take photos and being creative. So this is my lock screen and it just looks like this. It's a pale pink color. I like my phone screens to be like really clean, clear so I can see everything. So opening this on up, this is what my home screen looks like. Um, I only have one page and it's kind of crazy. I used to have two, but I only had like two folders on the other page, but I don't like to have to like flip through a bunch of pages. And also, as you guys might notice, my screen is not customized because an unpopular opinion, I think it's so annoying to like have to do all that. And then, I mean, some people love it because they love being creative, which I give them all the props, but just organizing this in the way I wanted it to be it took forever and I didn't even customize anything. Um, also, I don't like shortcuts. I don't like how you have to keep the app on your phone and you don't get the badges. I don't know, it's just not my deal. I think it's great, it looks great on the screen, but honestly, I do not like it. I like the apps in their natural state and I kind of color coordinated what I wanted, um, but overall, the customization's really cute for like pictures and stuff, but when it comes to the functionality of the phone and like pressing the icon, I don't like it. Yeah, leave your opinions on that down below. I know it doesn't bug some people, but it bugs the crap out of me. Then swiping over to the left, I have my app library as you can see here with all of my apps. This is my screen notification section. I just have the clock, I have my battery percentage, I have um, my calendar and I have podcasts. Those are two of my favorite podcasts. Um, one is my YouTube friend, uh, Alexa Pages, and then obviously Bates, Karen and Claw's podcast, which if you haven't listened to their recent podcast, I really suggest you do because he tells a really funny story about his mom. Okay, so the first app on my phone is Reminders and this is just what it looks like. I have my personal reminders. Um, work reminders, like if I need to do something for work and I need to do it at a time, then I just have that. And then I have my grocery list. Then I have the notes app. And on my notes app, I have it all organized. I got this idea from one of my friends here on YouTube, Annie Dubay. She had hers like super, super organized. I'm not that organized. I mean, I'm organized to an extent, but like I have like my YouTube. So I have like video ideas. Basically, this is just what my notes app looks like. Um, next, I have calculator. That's really self-explanatory. Then I have my contacts. YouTube, oh my gosh, guys. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I am stuck at 36.9. If we could just get to 37,000, you know, your girl would be happy. I would be happy to be at 37,000. I'm so lucky and just have you guys here. But that nine is just killing me, so. Someone just subscribe so we could just get to 37,000. I guess I'll just be stuck there. I'm used to having peaks of growth and having peaks of non growth. That's the beauty of YouTube and everything. So, yeah, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. These are um, some of the YouTubers I like to watch um, Aston Parker, Love Marsha, or Maria. I don't really know. She's just really relaxing. Um, Sloan is awesome. Props to him if you don't know who he is. KK and Baby J is also obviously one of my favorites. Some graphic design, um, Brianna, and so many people that I have on here. So that is my YouTube app. Um, next, I have my calendar, self-explanatory, my clock, um, and then I have my wallet. I normally never ever use Apple Pay, but I really wanna start using it more. I used it for a while and then like, I just honestly forget that I have it. And a lot of companies still don't take Apple Pay. So it's kind of annoying, but I have it on my home screen just in case I remember to use it. Then I have my mail app. I get my personal email and my YouTube email on my mail app. And then this Outlook is for my part-time job that I have at a TV station. I like to keep them separate just because um, I don't want everything coming into that one mail app because then I'll just get confused. Then I have my app store, as you guys can see. I like to keep all the blues together, as you can see too. And then I have my Google Maps. Um, 
And then I have my Facebook app that's like for personal Facebook. But if you want to like my Facebook page, Alex Jane, that would be great. I'm trying to build more of a community on there. It's a lot of like my older parents, friends, and family members on there. Um, and then I have this finance folder. It's not necessarily all finance. It's just named that for some reason. But I have my Fairwinds, I have Chase, I have PayPal. Uh, I have my Safari app. I have Facebook Messenger. I honestly wish Facebook Messenger, like the separate app didn't exist and you could just get your messages in Facebook. I honestly hate Facebook Messenger. I wish people would just text me if they need something, not like message me on Facebook. And then I have Venmo. I only really use that to pay like one of my friends because it's just easier, but honestly, I never ever use that. And then I have YouTube Studio where you can see like all your analytics. Then I have TubeBuddy, which is, I upgraded my plan. So if you guys want to grow your YouTube channels, um, you can get TubeBuddy. I have an affiliate link down below. Don't feel pressured to use it, but I would be graciously happy if you did. But I upgraded my plan to, I think it's called the Pro Plan, and you can have the app. So because I pay for it and I get the accessibility, I got the TubeBuddy app. Then I have Discover, and then I have my eBay app, my Amazon app, because I don't know, they're kind of dealing with money, so I just like put it in the finance. And then I have Luca and Gray, that's Aspen store. I love their clothes, they're so cute, but sometimes I just think it's kind of overly priced. So I kind of just go on that app for like inspiration. And then if like I see something similar, then I'll just like buy it at like Forever 21 or something, even though I haven't gone shopping in forever. Um, and then I have ADP Mobile, ADP Mobile. And that app is for my hours for work. You um, just put in your hours on either this app or online. I typically do it online, but you can do it on this app. And then I have Smart Lock, which I will do a whole video on just because I find it to be so interesting. But I have a security key for my YouTube channel. So in order to get into my channel on a device, you need a physical key to plug into the computer so it knows it's me. Let's see if I can open it. Yeah, you can go to your accounts and like manage everything, but that's the only account that's attached. Um, and then you can generate security codes to give people access. So that's really interesting. And then I have my Fidelity app, and that's just to like put money back for savings as well as like invest in certain areas like, you know, engineering or technology or medicine, that sort of thing. And then I have my settings here, pretty um, self-explanatory. Then I have my camera. Then I have Twitter, which I normally use Twitter for just like news and stuff. Um, but overall, if you wanna follow me, I just tweet my feelings and stuff. And you guys get sneak peeks. So I'm getting my hair done um, October 30th. So if you weren't following me on Twitter, you wouldn't really know that. I don't have a big following on Twitter um, and I don't follow a lot of people on it. Again, I just kind of use it for news, but I also tweet some random stuff. So it's the same as my Instagram username, AlexJane underscore Jane with a Y. Then we have Instagram, which ugh, guys, again, I love Instagram so much. I wish I got more engagement, but whatever. I just do it for fun. So um, this is my Instagram. If you're not following me, please follow me. So it's at AlexJane underscore, and these are my photos. I love how I edit my photos. I might make an Instagram like how I edit my photos. I love my preset. I don't see myself changing my preset anytime soon because I love it that much. Um, it's called Mandy Nelson. So if you go to like who I'm following, if you go to the hashtags, um, it is called, the presets that I use are called Mandy Nelson presets. And this is what it looks like. It's just so creamy, clear, nude. Um, Honey Wild presets are also very similar. As you can see, it has the same vibe. So those are two presets I highly recommend. I just love how it looks and everything. Do you hate the update? You are all caught up and it's like only three posts. Like what the heck? So then um, I have TikTok. Please follow me on TikTok. Um, I'm not creating as much as I used to, but I used to create a lot with my mom um, and we still might, but this is my TikTok. It's at AlexJane underscore. So all of my usernames are the same, which I am so happy about. It took me forever to get the same username on like every platform. I'm moving on up in the world when it comes to that. This is my TikTok. And then we go into the photo video section. Um, this is my only other folder. I don't like folders. Also too, I hate that you can't customize 
the app library. Um, it's so annoying. This is my photo video page and oh, some new releases on Aspen Store just dropped. Um, so I have Lightroom. This is how I edit all of my photos. Um, so I have them kind of organized. Again, I'm not that big on organization, which I really wish I was. So here is a little sneak peek of my photos that I've edited so far. Um, that's pretty much what it looks like. Also, I have my workout pics. So that's exactly the app I use. I edit on my phone. I don't like editing on the computer, which is a lot of, again, that's a lot of um, personal preference, but I, I guess in the unpopular opinion, I love editing on my phone because I, I can hold the phone in my hand and like use my fingers rather than like a mouse. And I can like hold it up closer to my face, which you know, I don't have the best eyes, so that's good too. And then I have Facetune. I normally use this to kind of edit my arm if it looks big or if I have like a zit or if I want to flip a photo, but I guess you can flip photos in the normal photos application now. I don't really know. Then we have Camera Connect and this um, app connects to both of my cameras. So it connects to the camera I'm filming on right now, which is a DSLR, and then it also connects to my M50, uh, my vlog camera, so that's really convenient. And then I have Visco, and honestly, the only reason why I had this app is to crop my photos. I don't like cropping my photos in the Photos app or the Lightroom app, which is, sounds so silly, and the only reason why I have this one app is to crop my photos. I don't know, guys. Maybe it's just a user interface thing <laughs> that I just have gotten used to Visco for. Um, and then I have Unfold. This app is really good for customizing Instagram stories. So like when I have a new video, I also edit my progress update photos uh, for my workout journey in this app. So it's really convenient to have. Um, and then I have reward style. And honestly, I don't really use this a whole lot just for Instagram. Um, I made 26 cents, so yay. Um, this is kind of like a third party application for influencers, social media people to link things and then they get commission for what they link. I typically just link things from Instagram. Yay, I have 16 followers. So if you wanna follow me on the Like to Know It app, my username is AlexJane underscore. And then I have Preview. Preview is something that I use to plan my photos. So here's a little sneak peek of the upcoming photo, which is probably already posted by now, but it is my little workout journey post. And then I bought this Tezza app just to put a filter on one video. This is like, I paid 30 something dollars for like the year subscription and I've used it like once. So I don't know if it's like completely worth it or not, but you know, we're just gonna leave it there. And then I have InstaSize. And the only reason why I have this app is because when you edit a photo, it allows you to create a border or a blurry background for a photo to make your photo like an Instagram story size and when you upload IGTV videos it wants this the ratio of the photo to be the size of an Instagram story but on my feed I want it to look like a normal size Instagram photo I don't know if you're catching my drift on that but this app helps me with that and that's the only reason why I have that app I honestly wish that there was an app that you just could do everything in but unfortunately there's not um and then I have my messages my phone and then my photos here are my photos a little sneak peek guys you can now get badges on instagram and have people buy badges which is really cool so i don't know if i might start live streaming more on instagram but please follow me and you will find out but yeah here's some sneak peeks of some posts i am going to post so i can't wait till i post like one of these i love how those photos came out um and then i have some fun ones that I've taken at Magic Kingdom, and then I just have some progress photos. And then my music, I don't have a subscription to Apple Music, I don't listen to Spotify. I don't listen to music like typically going around the house or whatever. I typically listen to music in the car while I'm going somewhere. That's pretty much it. Um, I used to listen to music more, but I guess now I just don't. Yes, I buy my music just because I do want to support the creators, 
but I don't necessarily want to buy a subscription where I have to pay like $10 or like $5 a month because I don't know if I'll get the use out of it, if you know what I mean. This is my current playlist. Love these songs. Kind of a mix of stuff in there, but a lot of um, current trendy music, maybe some TikTok songs in there too. That is pretty much what's on my iPhone. Let me pull down this. Nothing really changed there in the notification center. That is basically what is on my iPhone. Don't forget to comment down below your favorite social media app. I would love to know. I have some more stuff on my phone, but I typically just use what is on the front screen. So, you know, an example of like what I don't use on the regular basis would be like find my iPhone or iTunes store, Lyft, Uber, Delta app, my Disney experience. Like I don't use those like every day. So like I didn't really think that I needed to go into them. Twitch, um, Apple TV, like there's just apps that I just don't use like the Alexa app. Like those are just examples. I didn't just want to like more and talk about those apps because there's not really much to say about them. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Also, let me know your opinion on the customization feature um, for that widget smith thing. I'm not feeling it. Like I like my phone to be, you know, traditional Apple icons. I think they're not ugly icons. So you know, professional graphic designers design the apps to look a certain way. So I appreciate that from a standpoint of a, you know, creative's perspective. So I would like to know your thoughts on that. Anyway, now for real. Bye.